माय सेल्फ सतीश थलंगे असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग सोलाप इन टूडे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू सी इन्वेंट्री कंट्रोल टेक्निक ए बी सी एनालिसिस एट द एंड ऑफ द सेशन द लर्नर और यू कैन से ऑब्जर्वर विल बी एबल टू अप्लाई द इन्वेंट्री कंट्रोल टेक्निक दैट इज ए बी सी एनालिसिस फॉर द ओवरऑल मटेरियल मैनेजमेंट एज आई सेड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी द ए बी सी एनालिसिस टेक्निक विच इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द ओवरऑल material management now let's see what is a abc analysis it's a technique which is used for the inventory control in which we go for the categorization of the inventory in the three categories first one is a class second one is a b class and third one is a c class now let's see what exactly this are mean so a class materials as i said abc analysis of a class b class and c class the a class is a class where the overall quantity of the material in the total quantity is only 20% and the amount consumed by that 20% quantity is almost 70 to 80% of all you can say total budget as it consumes 70 to 80% of total amount so there is a need of what there is a need of the high observation so a class of material are the under of the high observation now b class a b class is a class in which the overall the quantity is of only 30% of the total quantity and amount consumed is from the 30 to 20% or you can say 20% to 30% of the overall total budget as it consumes only 20 to 30% as compared to a class material there is a moderate observation for the b class material coming to the c class material c class material the overall quantity is up to the 50% of total quantity and amount consumed is from 10 to 5 or you can say 5 to 10% of the overall total budget so as compared to the a class and the b class c class even though they are of 50% of total quantity but its overall the amount consumption is only 10 to 5% so here we have to go for the lower observation so these are the three classes which are there in the abc analysis now let's see the what steps we have to carry these are the steps which has to be carried for the overall the getting the overall the calculation of the abc analysis and to finalize which quantity lies under a class which quantity lie in the b class which quantity lie in the c class just we will see the example in which we will practically view how what are the steps to be followed now moving towards the next slide this is the example in which we are observing there are the items from 1 to 10 their unit quantities and the unit price when we observe here the unit number 1 the total quantity is 700 and it is costing 50 rupees per unit in this way successfully they are for the all the left nine units their quantity or we can say number of units and the unit price the first step we have to carry is to find the overall the cost of the first quantity successfully we have to find out the cost for all the nine units so it can be obtained by multiplying unit or unit price per quantity so here the 700 multiplied by 50 we are get 35000 similarly we are observing here the second quantity its number of units are 2400 and that it's costing 30 rupees per unit so it's almost 72 
1000 successfully we are calculating for all other units or you can say all other items we have to go for the summation of all this the overall summation is 2,49,300 now we are interested next step as we see the we are interested to know what exactly this 35,000 is the part of 2,49,300 which we are going to represent in the percentage here it has been obtained that it's a 14.04 percent of the total amount similarly 72,000 is almost 28.88 percent of the total amount in similarly we have to identify all the percentage with respect to the total amount for the respective items once we obtain this percentage now we are going to rank it from higher to lower one when we observe here 28.8 is the overall the first ranking secondly after 28.8 the second lowest is 22.86 so i will rank it as a 2 and successfully next lower is 14.04 i've ranked 3 in this way i have to rank to all the items according to their overall from higher level to the lower level once we obtain this we have to sequence it in the overall percentage with from the higher to lower one now you observe here the items i their positions they have been changed now the overall item number 2 is costing highest so it has been ra ranked first item number 5 it is cost uh, almost it is 22.86 it has been ranked as second so here we have sequenced in the from higher level to the lower level and later on we have to carry the cumulative percentage values so the first it is will be as it is 28.88 for the second level it will be 28.88 plus 22.86 it's a 51.74 successfully we have to see the cumulative values for each ranks finally the overall the summation will be 100 percent now we are going to represent in the graphical way so this is the graphical presentation in which we are going to see the presentation of each items in the between the ranking and the overall the percentage axis here the x axis is representing the ranks and the y axis is representing the percentage so now we have to start for the presentation now the first ranking item is 2 which has been presented here it's almost 28.88 which is closer to the 30 second the item number 5 its ranking is 2 and its overall percentage is 51.74 which has been here which is closer to the 50 50 percent so for the third ranking item it is item number one it's 65.78 again i have represented here successfully you have to represent all the items according to the ranking with their percentage in the graph when we see this the, when we point all the points on the graph when we connect it with the line it's a overall the curve which is you observing with the blue color so as we know that the a class material are the material which are consuming 70 to 80 percent of overall total cost of the material so here when we see the item number two five one and six are the items which are almost consuming 75 sorry 73.81 percentage of overall total cost of the material or you can say inventory 
similarly the item number 3 4 and 7 they are co they are consuming from the range of almost 30 to 20 percent so here if you observe that i have presented the overall the vertical and the horizontal red color lines which is indicating that the area or the materials from the origin up till this point are the a class from the uh, from this point that is the point that is almost 73.81 to almost 90.17 the material which are ranging between this they are categorized under the b class finally the material from the 94.82 up till 100 these are the material which are categorized under c class so this is the overall the graphical presentation of the items with respect to the ranking and the percentage of the overall the amount consumed in the community ways here the overall graphical presentation of the all the three categories that is a class b class and the c class this is the slide which is showing the references for today's session thank you